I uh, work for DC Energy Company. I'm a chemical engineer. I've been at the company about 12 years working in various degrees of engineering. My mother was not an engineer. My mother had some college, but I grew up in the inner city of Detroit. So, you know, I always tell them, if I can make it, you can make it too. And I share that struggle. I started off going to college, catching the bus to school. I didn't live on campus. I didn't have that experience. But what it did for me, it gave me, riding on that bus gave me time to think. We just started introducing landfill gas and natural gas pipelines in Michigan, and we were the first company to do so. Instead of us just putting our trash into landfills and basically burning that gas off, we're now treating that gas and putting it in a pipeline with, uh, and feeding, fueling homes and businesses with it. I have a very mixed job. I spend some of my time at my desk. I spend some time in the field. Um, it's really important that you just kind of like prepare. So I have like two work bags. I have the work bag where I'm in the field where I need a hard hat, I need safety boots, I need um, you know vests so that people can reflect the vest so I can be in the field and the bulldozer sees me. Um, other days I need to be in a suit and I need to be in meetings and I need to be talking about quality and I need to be um, negotiating new contracts. What I love physically about the profession is that it is endless opportunities in chemical engineering. You know, I look at my friends that I went to college with. Some of us are doctors, some of us are lawyers, some of us are practicing engineers where we're designing, some of us are working in biomedical engineering. Uh, there's just endless fields. One of the things I teach my girls in my Girls Exploring Engineering program with the Society of Women Engineers is that you think about uh, makeup, you think about hairspray, you think about bubble gum, you think about chocolate. And chemical engineers work in all of those areas. If you're passionate about what you're doing and you really believe in yourself and you get a mentor that can help feel that passion, um, I think that it makes it so much easier to go through this program, the different engineering programs, and as a professional working to really find, um, you know, find that person that you can connect to and that they can mentor you. And they're not gonna tell you everything you wanna hear, but they're gonna help develop you. And I had so many mentors along the way who helped do that for me. I know that the students are struggling now to pay for college because college has gotten to be so expensive. But I tell students that it is an investment in your life. And that is what you should invest your time in, you know. Uh, your degree will continue to pay for itself. Your degree gives you options. And for that reason, you need to be encouraged to finish. We spend our money buying all kinds of things that will depreciate value by the time it lands in our hand. But your education will never depreciate.